Good morning, El Segundo. It's Mayor Drew Boyles with a COVID-19 update, April 14th at 11 a.m. Now, some of you asked about my haircut. My recent haircut hasn't been this short since boot camp in 1987. And uh, as many of you, I needed a haircut and my wife was unavailable. So my son broke out the clippers and buzzed my head, my 13-year-old son, Merrick, and then I buzzed his head. So there you go, there's a the backstory there. All right, the safer at home order from LA County requires face coverings be worn by all customers or visitors, as well as employees of essential businesses starting tomorrow, Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. And this includes El Segundo, of course. Examples would be grocery stores or picking up takeout. So if you're going into Ralph's or Trader Joe's or Whole Foods, wear a bandana, wear a mask. Remember to keep the N95 mask for the healthcare professionals. A scarf will work, maybe if you ski, a little gator, anything of that kind will help you. And if you're in the backyard of your home, obviously you don't need to wear those. I would definitely recommend you wear them when you're walking out and about as well in the community. Now, as far as tonight goes, we have our city council meeting. It's gonna be held virtually at 5 p.m. <clears throat> you can view the city council meeting on Spectrum channels three or 22, or on AT&T UVerse channel 99 and or at YouTube, which is El Segundo TV. It's an El Segundo TV channel on YouTube. Public comments will be e should be emailed to publiccommunications at elsegundo.org. We ask that you email those in at least 30 minutes before tonight's meeting, so that'd be by 4.30 p.m. today. Again, you email your comments to publiccommunications at elsegundo.org. As always, the agenda can be found at elsegundo.org. If you're unable to email your comments, a laptop will be set up here in the council chamber. All comments will be subject to the current rules for public communications. I wanna thank everyone in the El Segundo community for staying home, for social distancing, for keeping our case numbers low and our community safe. If you look around, we're actually doing really well relative to the surrounding uh, cities and communities, but we can't rest on our laurels. Now is not the time to get complacent. We must maintain our physical distance and keep everyone safe. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.